Hi guys, welcome back to the channel Spare Parts, and today I went to Whoppy Bricks, which is a Lego store in West Bend, Wisconsin, and I bought a bunch of different things that I'm going to show you guys today, so let's get into it. So the first box I bought was the Razor Crest Microfighter, and it is used, but it does come with the instructions and the set and the minifigure, and it was in really good shape, and I really do like this build. I will definitely be reviewing this. This is probably one of my favorite microfighters, to be honest. I think it looks really cool. It even has this nice ramp. It's just my one problem with it is the stud shooters make it look really funky, but I'll save this for the review. Anyway, a super cool model and that I could get it for such a good price. The second box I got was the Millennium Falcon Microfighter. This is the one with Han Solo, the newer version, and this was $7. All right, so inside of this one, it appears we have the win instruction manual or the microfighter instruction manual. I missed when these used to have that kid on them that was like screaming win. Now it's just like a Lego robot. Kind of makes more sense, but really nice instruction manual. And then inside it looks like we have the set in a bag. And this time it's actually built. The last set I unboxed was not built. So this is kind of nice. I guess I don't have to build it. And what's that? Does it come with some extra pieces? I don't really know what those are, but let's take a closer look at this. All right, so the model actually looks really good. I'm kind of glad it was built, although I do kind of like to build them sometimes, but it does come with the Han Solo minifigure. And then it did come with this extra bag of pieces. Not really sure what this is about because these aren't the extra pieces for the set because the set does not include this antenna piece that is shown in the bag. Like, I don't really know what these are from, but I guess it's nice to get some extra pieces. Next up, I got the Duel on Mandalore set. I believe this is a set with Ahsoka Tano and Darth Maul where they're fighting with the throne and the weird box thing Darth Maul goes in. Let's open it up. All right, so it looks like it's all in one bag this time, which is kind of nice. And there, this one does require some building. So I'll build this and I'll be back. So I built the entire set and it is complete, except it is missing one two by one brick for this drawer. So when you slide it in, it like isn't completely level, but I have a bunch of those in my collection so I can easily replace that. And the minifigures are in these nice plastic bags so they don't get damaged. And I think that's really awesome. I'm really excited to get Darth Maul and Ahsoka. I don't have them yet, so. Overall, this is a really cool set. I'm really glad I was able to get it for so cheap. Final set I bought, or box I should say, is the Trouble on Tatooine set. This is a set where I think the Mandalorian and Grogu are riding on that speeder bike and then there's a Tusken Raider who's attacking them. Anyway, let's open it up. All right, so inside of this one, it appears we have another fully packaged one with the instruction manual all in the same bag. And this one looks like it's half built. I'll build it anyway. So here's the complete Trouble on Tatooine set. It is a lot bigger than I expected, and it does come with that really cool tent. I did not remember this bowcaster being in it, and the speeder is really nice. So this is a much better set than I thought. The only thing that's missing from this is the metallic um, spring-loaded shooter missiles are missing from it. I think there's supposed to be two, and that they were not included. Kind of wish I could have those, though, because I don't have any of those metallic ones. They look really cool. The minifigures are also packaged really nicely. This is my first time having Grogu. So that's going to be really awesome. So overall, this is a really great set. Also really love the speeder build. This is going to be an epic review when I release it. So taking a quick look at the final thing I bought, this was that Avengers set with the Iron Man Armory. And I think this is super cool. From my first look at the box art, I am kind of confused because the original set does not include these different Iron Man helmet pieces, but I guess we'll see when I actually review it. But I'm really glad I could find this. This is a set I've been looking for for a really long time. And I've come to Whoppy Bricks before hoping to find this set and I never have. And I'm glad they finally had it. It'll look really cool with my Iron Man armory. They don't even like label on the box that it goes with that. That's kind of interesting. But yeah, this is probably one of my favorite finds of the haul. So overall, here's everything that I got from Whoppy Bricks. Starting on the left, I got the Duel on Mandalore. And that was really good. It just was missing that one two by one piece. Everything else about that set was fine, except for actually some pretty bad sticker placements, but you know, you can't really do anything about that. And then I got the two micro fighters here in the middle. The Mandalorian Razor Crest was fine, except they gave me an extra range finder for the Mandalorian. I don't think that that is actually in the real set. I think that was just a mix up and they accidentally gave me a range finder. I'm not complaining. And then the Millennium Falcon was fine, except they gave me like a random piece of parts. I don't really know what this was about. Still not complaining, it's extra parts. And then the final set was Trouble on Tatooine, which they did actually forget to give me the silver blaster bolt things for this crossbow, which is a real disappointment to be honest, because I feel like those are kind of unique to the set. I don't know of any other set that those actually came in. And they did also give me an extra Mandalorian rifle. As you can see, there's one there on the side of the bike and the Mandalorian has one in his hands. Not complaining about that. It's awesome to get an extra one of those. So I think other than that, everything else was good. I might've forgot a couple things, but 
really, they did a really good job at packaging all this stuff up. So I think that was a really great haul. Oh yeah. And in the back, I got the Lego Avengers Iron Man arm reset, which really excited to review and add to my collection. There you have it guys. That is everything I got from Waffy Bricks when I went there this weekend. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to like and subscribe. And also check out Wappy Bricks' channel. And also if you live in Wisconsin, you should definitely check out their store. It's in West Bend, Wisconsin. I'm not sponsored by them or anything. I just, I think it's a really good Lego store. It's probably the best one I've been in that's not like an actual Lego store. They have a wide selection of stuff. So be sure to check them out in the description. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.